But if it breaks with a sandbag on it, that's not a problem. If it breaks with a person on it, it's a big problem. So this was the first ride that we built. I have a degree in civil engineering from the University of Strathclyde. So I'm probably more an engineer than a showman. It's nice to look at the finished article, my dream, and I started it and I saw it to the end. So it's good to be able to stand back and say, I've done that. We kind of had in our head five main things we was looking at that we would thought we'd learned from the industry. The first thing being that it all has to be on one truck. Power requirements under 150 kVA. We didn't want anything that requires a child to be higher than 1.3 meters. 10 year olds is about 1.3. That's about the age group where you want to start for a thrill ride, is 10 and up. Don't go upside down. If you want to capture the families, you want to capture mom and dad going on with their 10 or 11 year old, don't go upside down. The final thing was uniqueness. We wanted it to be a one of a kind. So this is a certificate we'd have to hand into any local authority, any event organisation, that sort of thing. They actually come out and say, hey, have you built this the way you designed it? You haven't cut any corners. And this is the point in initial testing. If they find something, and they find something serious, that the whole thing can be stopped. And it's all back to design stage. They are not there to take care of that right. They are not there with your best interests at heart. They are there with the public's best interests at heart. Because if it breaks with a sandbag on it, that's not a problem. If it breaks with a person on it, it's a big problem. All right, there we go. OK, sit back, hold tight, here we go. But the first time that ride goes up with real people on it, the analytical part of your mind is going, this is safe, you've done the maths, you've done the checks, but the emotional part of your brain is going, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> You're still at the end of the day, the guy that had the idea and said, I'll take your money and put your kid on it. And then stood there and pressed the green button. So yeah, that aspect of it is scary.